What's up YouTube? So I've got some more updates concerning the Fluxgate magnetometer. So last video I said I was going to try to build a DC-DC converter for it, but, or out of it, and I decided against that and fi figured out an easier way to test if it would actually generate a increasing amount of electricity. But the conclusion is it doesn't, or at least this um, core shape doesn't work. But anyways, what I have here is a diode across the um, the primary. So any back current in the off state gets sent back to the load and reduces the current draw of the system instead of sending that current forward as like a DC-DC converter. Instead it just sends it back and reduces the input current. Um, and that's an easier way than trying to make a whole DC-DC converter out of it. Anyway, and the output of the secondary is just put through these two diodes on this is my ground rail and this is my V plus rail. So any current generated by magnetic fields just goes directly back onto the power rail. So um, that way, if it actually does generate more out than in, then the load current will decrease. And so it's a quick and easy way of telling what it's actually doing. So the voltage or the multimeter here is showing the voltage across is showing the voltage across the shunt resistor. It's a six ohm shunt resistor. So the input from the power supply is here and the multimeter is just measuring the voltage across this resistor. So if holding a magnet near the magnetometer decreases the voltage across this resistor, then we know that it could be possible to get more power out than in. But if the voltage increases across the shunt load, it means the overall current draw of the system has increased and not decreased, meaning that the output of this coil here is still less than the increased current caused by bringing a magnet near this coil. And then over here on the oscilloscope, you can see the the purple this time is the output of the triple five timer, and the yellow is the the magnetic field output, the static magnetic field output. So I'm going to zoom back here a little bit. Right here, I have a neodymium magnet, so you can see as it gets closer to the coil, the the output, that yellow line there, gets a lot bigger. And that's increasing the output. But you may be noticing the voltage. Let's see. If you get it too close, it oversaturates it, and then it does that, which you don't want, apparently. But you may notice on the multimeter that the voltage increased. It did not decrease, which means that bringing a magnet near the device increases the overall current draw and it does not decrease so currently there there would be no way to make this device work in a over unity fashion and why that is is because when the magnet become gets closer to this core it starts to increase the level of saturation of the core, which means more current is being drawn through the, sec the primary here. That extra current, though, does not is, is greater than the extra current that comes out of this coil due to the static magnetic field. So 
there is no positive gain, unfortunately. Maybe there is some other type of configuration that would work. I've got some more ideas of maybe adding another coil so that you, know, you saturate it in multiple directions and s see if that increases, but I'm not too hopeful at this point. Anyway, still kind of cool that that works though. That's, that's about all. Thanks for watching. Peace out.